Hey everybody, my name is Andrew Ansley and I'm giving you a free script today that's going to allow you to take keyword research to the next level. So let me give you the five things that this is going to do. One, you're going to be able to scrape the top SERP, the top 10 positions, and you'll be able to get all that information pulled into a Google Sheet. You'll get the title and you'll get the actual URL. Two, you'll be able to get the intent information. So what this means is that you'll be able to know whether it is informational, commercial, decision making, that kind of thing. Next, Number three, you'll be able to know the marketing funnel. So is this, uh, what stage of the funnel is this? If you've ever seen HubSpot or anything like that, you'll be able to know that um, it's basically following that like triangle pyramid thing. Next, you have page type and page type is going to specify whether it's a home page, landing page, service page, or a blog article or a review, that kind of thing. Next, you'll be able to get the title. So the title will just use the top 10 SERP and then it will use AI in order to create your own title for you. So I'm gonna switch over to my screen so you can see what this all looks like. Uh, you'll also be able to keyword cluster. This is an incredibly powerful tool. Now, before we go any further, just so you know, I'm pushing this into my own tool called contentsprout.ai and you'll be able to do this uh, mixed with some other things. So let me just show you what this looks like. So we have, Untitled Spreadsheet. So first off, when uh, you want to get this started, basically you're going to have something like this. Let's, uh, yeah, great. You're going to have a subcategory. This is when I exported my uh, own tools output. It does a topic map for you with one click. And you get subcategory. You'll get your keywords uh, associated with it. You'll get your volume numbers. I didn't get any for this one. You'll get your questions. Uh, I did search volume twice on this one. Uh, and you'll get all that information all right here. And seriously, all you need to do in order to get the, if you want to get uh, <coughs> href volume is you can just copy and paste all these. And then what it looks like is, you know, the output looks like this. So pretty darn sweet. So now let me just show you the actual uh, thing here. We have, I entered three keywords as an example. And these three keywords, let's zoom in a little bit more our best golf club for beginners, how to golf and how to choose golf clubs. So let me explain each piece and then I'll explain how to get this sheet, okay? Number one, enter in your keywords here and then it will automatically, so pretend everything here is empty, because it is. Uh, it will automatically create everything that you see from G all the way to A, double A. So the double A is going to tag your keyword based off of the cluster. So it'll say whether it's a cluster one, two, three. If it's one, if two of them say one or two of them say two or five of them say cluster three, that means that all of those you can probably rank with writing one article. One. That's how that works. Uh, let's go back now. So the piece that you're going to need for getting the intent, the marketing funnel page type and title right here is all you do is hit open AI API, and then you're good to go. Then you hit process column B, anything that is empty for C through F, it will then process. But as you update this automatically, it will just automatically pull all the other things. So now let me tell you what you're going to need to do in order to actually make this run. Because uh, while I'm giving this away for free, I can't just give you my API keys for free just because I'm not making any money. I'd be losing money. If you want to subscribe to Content Sprout, that's fine. I'll, in another video, show you what exactly this looks like inside of that tool. It's still being developed, but it'll be out soon. So let's just go into the actual spot that you need to go. Extensions, app scripts right here. So app scripts you get brought in here and you get all of the code. So all the codes right here, it's already written. There's about 200 lines of code with some error handling as well. So now I'm just gonna show you exactly where you will need to enter in your own information to make this work. So you need to go into project settings and then you'll need to go to add app scripts property. And let me find this real quick because there is information you will need. Uh, let me make sure real quick. Yep, uh, it is the following. Okay, so you'll do this, open AI key, then you, then you uh, provide your key. Your API key again, that one's gonna be for data for SEO, so you'll enter that one in. Next, you'll do your API username, and that's gonna just be your email that you used for data for SEO. So pretty good, it's very cheap to, <coughs> to scrape the SERP. <coughs> I believe it's like 
0.001 or 0 0.0. It's either three zeros and a one or two zeros and a one. Point being, it's very cheap to scrape the SERP. So don't worry too much about the cost. And the code is using currently uh, GPT 3.5. So if you want to change any of that information, you can, but I find 3.5 is fine. Here's where you go to enter your information. So we have right here, row data. So this is going to be the prompts that are used in the columns. And then uh, that's right here, 152 to 155. Next, you're going to have the model in row 171. And even if you don't know how to code, this I'm making it very simple for you. All you need to do is you can specify this. So I'm not going to provide a guide here on how to get your API keys. You'll need to sign up, though, for these tools. So it's just dataforseo.com. Or uh, what you can do is uh, data. So dataforseo.com, sign up. Then the other thing is sign up for an OpenAI developer uh, license, which then you can get into the playground. If you don't know what the playground looks like, let me show you. It is very, very cool. And uh, this is what I prefer to use. So here is the playground. And we'll do right here. So now what you can see here is this little thing. You can choose your model if you've never seen this. Uh, you could choose your temperature. You could choose uh, length. I basically just do uh, GPT-4 preview for most of my stuff. Uh, system text in here as well. Your API keys are going to be right here where I'm pointing, and that's all there is to it. Guys, this is super simple. Once again, if you want to see what this looks like inside of the tool, I will make an announcement in about two weeks. It's going to be absolutely incredible. You'll have visualizations, topic maps, all the search volume numbers. Everything will be done in bulk, all for you, made so simple. But I want to provide some value. And if the community doesn't want to use, you know, pay for a whole tool, you have your own thing, that's fine. Uh, the goal is to show you guys how AI works. I love AI. I use it all the time. I'm obsessed with it. So let's uh, show you now where to go in order to get this. I'll link it in the description too, but I guess uh, I guess I got to show this to you first. So I'm going to send this form out, right? And this form will just be the registration form. You will then get a copy of, of this information or uh, of the sheet, and you'll be able to enter in your own information. <coughs> to enter in... <coughs> Sorry, to enter in your own information, just keep in mind, you go to the uh, script editor. So let's go to here and here. So you hit extensions, app script, and then you go into project settings. And then you go into here and you do add script properties. And that's all you need to do to make sure that this works. So that's it, everybody. Keep that in mind. You are good to go. I will send you the form. Just fill it out. Once again, just name an email. I'm Andrew. If you like this kind of stuff, I'm sharing more and more of it. And uh, just subscribe to me on Facebook, on YouTube, on whatever channel I'm posting this on. And Content Sprout, once again, you can go to here. You can go to our support group right here, which is just a community of people that are all using the tool. We'll make this more of like an AI publishing thing too, where we share more uh, guides and whatnot. I have things like the tr uh, my transparent SEO update, where I show what it, uh, me doing SEO with zero backlinks and just using AI content. Uh, I share all sorts of things like, oh, here is the uh, graph of what this looks like inside of Content Sprout. So coming soon, this is like an entire niche, right? You get all sorts of information. This one's for roofing. So uh, I don't even know if I'm sharing this on my screen, but yes, I am good. So that's it. Thank you so much. Until next time, goodbye.